What is up guys, this is Pax Brooks and today with another Fly guys. Today we are doing top five wide receiver draft targets for the Green Bay Packers. And um I'm doing basically off of, you know, what the media says. And, you know, I hate the media, but this is what they're saying, and also a couple of these are who I think are good, you know, draft uh wide receiver that the Packers should draft. And obviously last year Packers not drafting a wide receiver in the draft. Really triggered a lot of Packers fans, but this year should be different. So yeah, I guess we'll get right into this video. Before I start this video, though, guys, I want to say thank you guys for all the support I've been getting lately. Um, you know, we are getting so much subscribers. Um, I just want to say thank you guys because you guys are awesome. But let's get right into this video. Number one, the Minnesota Golfers, Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman has played for the Minnesota Golfers for a total of three years he started in 2018 and obviously ended in 2020 his stats this year he had 36 receptions 472 yards two touchdowns and 13.1 average so obviously not that bad um only two touchdowns not a lot still is a great receiver i mean 36 receptions for 400 yards that still is pretty good you know it's not easy to score touchdowns in you know football so obviously good stats for him in 2020 2019, he had 60 receptions, 1,219 yards, and 11 touchdowns. Obviously, 2019, the Gophers were not a bad team. Uh, obviously, they were very, you know, good. They're one of the top teams. I can't remember what they were ranked, but obviously that year, he was one of the leading receivers in receiving yards with 1,000. Um, 2018, he had 51 receptions. 704 yards and six touchdowns. That's pretty darn good for your first year in the NCAA, getting six touchdowns, 51 receptions, and 704 yards. Um, in this video, I'm not, you know, making them, you know, my number one, you know, who I think they should do. I'm just doing it, you know, my top five. But, you know, obviously, Bateman, pretty good receiver. I would not be mad if we drafted him. Number two, Seth Williams. Um, if you're not who this is, he is a wide receiver who played for Auburn, um, obviously great receiver. Um, I've really looked at his stats and looked into it. He looks like an amazing receiver stats-wise, but um, his stats really show that he is a great player. 2020, he had 47 receptions, 760 yards, and four touchdowns. Obviously playing for a bigger named school of Auburn. 2019, he had 59 receptions, 830 yards, and eight touchdowns. Second year of his career, pretty good. Eight touchdowns, can respect that. 2018, he had 26 receptions, 534 yards, and five touchdowns. A lot of these guys' rookie seasons are pretty good. Not be mad if we got him either. Looks like a pretty good receiver. Um, I think he is a fast receiver too. He looks pretty good stats-wise. And, you know, he played for Auburn, so wouldn't mind getting him either. Number three, 2-2 two, two, Atwell. I don't know if I said that right. I think it might be Atwell or Atwell. I'm not sure. 2020, he had 46. Oh, he plays for the Louisville Cardinals. Obviously, another bigger name school. Lamar Jackson played for them. Uh, 220 yards. I mean, 2020, he had 46 receptions, 625 yards, and 7 touchdowns. 2019, he had 70 receptions, 1,276 yards, and 12 touchdowns. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, 2008... 19 was a pretty good year for a lot of receivers. 2018, he had 406 yards, two touchdowns, and 24 receptions. So that's his first year, only two touchdowns. Obviously, only 24 receptions. He got, still got two touchdowns and 400 yards. That is very good. I can respect that so much and you know, would not mind if we would get him. I just wouldn't mind if we drafted any receiver because I really want a good wide receiver. Number four, Tariq Black. Hey guys, while editing this, I realized that Tariq Black actually transferred schools. He played for Michigan first, I believe, and then now he's on the Texas Longhorns. So, um, some of the years he played were with Michigan. Just wanted to get that clear with you guys. Doesn't really screw up anything. Just wanted to get that clear because if you didn't know that uh, or you already knew and you're like, hey, he played for Michigan too, and I didn't mention him. So, yeah, that's basically all I have to say there. Enjoy the rest of the video. From the Texas Longhorns. 2020, he had 10 receptions, 240 yards, one touchdown, obviously. This one, I was kind of, you know, eh, about. 
You know, his stats only had zero touchdowns in 2018. I'll be getting to that. But through the past years, he only has three touchdowns. It said, I don't know if that's correct. Um, you know, I did some research on him. And it says he only has a touch, one touchdown in 2017, one touchdown in 2019, and one touchdown in 2020. I mean, I don't know if that's for sure. But I was kind of like, eh, about this one. Number five, we got Rondell Moore. Uh, 2020 had 300, I mean, 35 receptions, 270 yards, zero touchdowns. Obviously, this was another one I was like, kind of eh about. But I'm getting to the part why I put him on the list. 2019 had 29 receptions, 387 yards, and two touchdowns. Obviously, 2020, uh, I don't know if he got hurt. I'm not sure why he had you know, zero touchdowns, but I don't know. 2018, he had 100, I mean, he had 14 receptions, no, 114 receptions, 1,258 yards, and 12 touchdowns. Why? That's why he earned my spot on the list, uh, because 12 touchdowns, 1,000 yards. I mean, there's a lot, of, there's only three players on this list that hit 1,000 yards at some point in their career, in one of their seasons, and yeah, I can respect that. I mean, I'd be happy if we get Rondell Moore. Obviously, he's a good uh, wide receiver. Uh, you know, he's one of the top draft prospects for the Packers um, draft. Um, all these guys are um, top, you know, prospects for the Packers draft. And so that's going to be for today, guys. That's all I have to say for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Um, sorry if I'm kind of, you know, like kind of off on some of these. I don't focus on college that much. I mean, I watch the Badgers. But you guys have really wanted me to do, you know, college videos about, like, a mock draft or something. Um, you know, I don't really have a lot of knowledge about college football. I mean, you could ask me anything about NFL. I will know it. But, you know, college football is kind of meh for me. I really just watch Badgers, and I don't really think about you know, all the, you know, big-name teams. You know, I obviously, I know, like, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, you know, all those guys. But, you know there's a lot of them you know that I just don't really focus on NCAA as much as I focus on NFL that's just the person I am but yeah those were the top five you know draft prospects for the Packers I'm probably going to name this video top five uh, wide receivers the Packers you know could draft and yeah so thank you guys for watching this video go pack go uh, thank you guys for all your support Wait, lately we have 139 subscribers so thank you guys so much for that I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.